Yo, what up YouTube? Um, I had a question asked to me on YouTube and I thought it was a really good uh, subject to make a video on. Uh, excuse me on that one. That was really good food though. <laughs> um, they asked me, how do you tell the difference between a male angelfish and a fe female angelfish? Well, this is how I do it. And I mean, you can go ahead and do your thing and good luck to you. And uh, you know, everybody's different, so. Alright, if you look at this tank, the difference between the male and the female is very, 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 how do I say this? It's kind of easy to tell, but um, it's not always easy to, easy to tell. I know, but you might not know, so I'm going to tell you. That's the female back there. As you can see, see, her head's a little bit rounder, but she still has a hump. Everybody says, oh, male angelfish has a hump, female don't, but if you just notice her forehead, she kind of does. If you notice the male over there, he kind of has a hump too. Everybody says the males are bigger than the uh, females. I uh, Usually, that's kind of true. But if I look at that tank, which the light's turned off, it's on a timer. I can pull out a male that is half the size of that female. Like, he's a tiny male. Um, the best way to tell the male, the male between the female is uh, by that right there. Boom. You let them spawn and you find out if there's babies. That's the best way to find out if it's male and female. But as you can see, he has a hump too. Like, it's not really a noticeable hump. People say it's like the the little pee pee thing that they come out of. The thing is, if you've never done this before, they're going to look a lot the same. The best way to find out is they make babies. Those are not babies yet. I can pull, uh, once their babies are little wigglers and they're swimming around, that's when they've made babies. The reason I say that is because I've had two females, one of the females will spawn, and the other female will go right up to it and pretend she's doing it. Her little thingy mabobber sticking out. Um, I'm not sure the exact scientific name, um, you know, but her little, uh, I, don't, I don't know, her little thingy sticking out and she's doing the same thing. I wait, no babies, I wait, no babies, and, it, and it's, uh, if you read up on it, it's something that happens pretty common, but I mean, look at the male, see his hump, look at the female, she looks like she has a hump too. So, you know, they say the hump, and then size-wise, I mean, yes, this male's a lot bigger, but not by much, but like I said, I've had males that are smaller than females. Um, someone asked me if they're fighting, or, um... You know, if they're mating. Someone commented on one of my comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain that one to you. Um, when they lock up, and what I mean by lock up is that lip goes against that lip and they lock up and they look like they're fighting. They're actually not fighting. What they're doing is they're picking mates and they're determining, uh, like, uh, if you have more than one angelfish, they're they're basically sizing each other up. And I'm not, I'm not referring always to fighting. Basically, the male proves his dominancy over the female kind of deal. Like, hey, I'm in charge. You're the woman. Um, sometimes it is fighting. If you have more angelfish, the male and male will go one-on-one. -on -one. But when they're fighting, they actually just attack each other. They don't lock up. Locking up is like basically saying, hey, you're going to be my mate kind of deal. Like, it's kind of one of those they're choosing their mate. Um, I actually don't have a whole lot of locking up. Um, I They do lock up. I've had a pair. I was very aggressive towards each other. They were a black pair, but they didn't take care of their babies, so it didn't work really well for me. Um, but that's kind of how I decide. Um, how I decide male from female, it's, you know, I, I posted my video. I get six or eight of them in a 55. Feed them, give them water, change them, rate water changes, feed them, give them water changes, put a slate in there. The best pair will literally take up like 90% of the tank. It'll be that much of that tank is their tank and the rest are over here. I pull that pair out, put them in their own 20, and I wait and see how their eggs do. If their eggs stay alive and I get babies, it's male and female, and most likely it is male and female. Um, I have pulled out a pair that I thought was male and female, and it was female, female. <laughs> put them back in there, they repaired up with the male and female, so it happens. Um, I don't know what happened with that series. I've also seen some people um, they've had two females spawn in one male, you know, he did his job for both females, so anything is possible, so I mean, if something weird happens where you have two males and one female, you know what, if that's what works for those angelfish, that's what works, so, um, I hope, uh, I answered the question of how you tell the difference between a male and a female, 
Um, I mean, there's probably scientific uh, terminology for the uh, angelfish's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Little uh, anal uh, reproductive gland, you know, I don't know what you call that little thing that comes out. So, I mean, like I said, you know, if you believe that, you know, male's always bigger, then go ahead. I can prove it to you. I have a tank, and I can show you a smaller male that will produce with that female. Um, you know, if you believe in the hump thing, you know, it is noticeable on some angelfish. Some angelfish will have a huge hump, so I, I'm not going to deny that some male angelfish, but I've seen females that have it too, so I thought she was deformed, but, you know, I thought she was ugly too because I thought it was a male. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys learned something from it. Questions, comments, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Peace out.